I'm here with uh, my sister in Islam, Lisa Barnes. Salaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam. Uh, our viewers, we're going to talk about your organization here. Yes. Uh -huh. But our viewers always like to know from our American Muslim brothers and sisters mm -hmm. how they came to Islam, you know, how they became Muslim. Right. First, I'd like to say to everyone in Saudi Arabia, Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. <laughs> and I'd like to give a special hello to the Bakar family. To Um Zachary and Um Abu Ali, especially, mm -hmm. and I, I am a convert to Islam. Uh, I, it came. It was a gradual process for me learning about Islam and mm. seeing how great Islam is. And so where are you from in the states? I'm from Pennsylvania. Okay. And alhamdulillah, I'm so happy to be Muslim and so proud. So I um, broadcast it. And so now I'm involved with the Mecca. It's the Muslim Education Convert Center of America. Mm -hmm. And why I like this organization so much, it's really filling a void that exists. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the people in Saudi Arabia would be surprised to know right. how Islam is spreading in America and mm -hmm. the amount of converts is so impressive. Mm -hmm. So we're excited that people want to become... Would you say that the majority of the converts are women? Uh, I'm not exactly sure to say that. Okay, but you, there I, are a lot a of mix, women. A mix, yes, a yes. lot of women, of course, and men. Yeah. So it is so exciting that they want to be Muslim uh -huh. and they're becoming Muslim. Right. Like myself, people are always so surprised. But the problem that exists mm -hmm. is there's a void okay. because once the people become Muslim, of course, they're faced with many challenges. And Islam, as we know, it's not just a belief system, but it's a practice. Mm -hmm. So this is where a lot of the struggle does come in. The belief is easy, but of course to change the outward and to learn the practices of Islam, this is where there's a void. Okay, so now how does your organization help to fill that void? Right, so what we're doing is providing, first of all, uh, we're filling the special void by providing a mentor mm -hmm. to each new convert. Each mm -hmm. convert will have a mentor mm -hmm. who will assist them, answer questions, also be there for the emotional support, which is important right. because many converts, time they convert, they become overwhelmed mm -hmm. and they lack a support structure. Mm -hmm. And mean, some people leave Islam okay. because of that. But overwhelmed in yeah. what way? I mean, is there a lot okay. of people have pressures from their families after yes. they accept Islam? Even me. You yeah. know, I still have problems. My family, my dad thinks I was brainwashed uh -huh. and they say what's that on your head and take that off so uh, alhamdulillah I feel myself strongly established in Islam but I know when I became Muslim trying to learn just the prayer uh -huh. and this was overwhelming uh -huh. and many facets so we're also providing with our center a 12-week program mm -hmm. with a curriculum and we have the guidance of the scholars so we have the 12-week session. Our first class will begin in November mm -hmm. in New York. And we're currently based serving the tri-state area, which is New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. And inshallah, if we can expand. So we're providing the technical information, the mm -hmm. aqidah, the fiqh, fasting, prayer, to get the new Muslims started and established, and also providing the emotional support, which mm -hmm. is a really unique facet of our organization. Right. So we're so excited. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Alhamdulillah. But just uh, about Muslim women in America, what do you think are the major issues now facing Muslim women here in America? Uh, that's a good question. Of course, Muslims in general struggle with many issues. For myself, as a Muslim, I feel I came into Islam from the back door. Mm -hmm. What really drew me in was uh, the stories of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and how Islam is so applicable to our daily life. Mm -hmm. It's so modern and it's so progressive, mm -hmm. which the non-Muslims, they often think the opposite. Mm -hmm. They think, oh, we're oppressed and mm -hmm. subjugated, where it, it, it's really just the opposite. So. As for women, a big struggle, of course, women all over the world have is hijab. Mm -hmm. So that's a big struggle. So once I overcame that, I'm wearing hijab now for two years, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah. And I'm actually a teacher. Mm -hmm. I teach in a public school in New Jersey. Right. And I was hired with hijab. Uh -huh. So I was excited. I'm the only Muslim teacher in my school. Uh -huh. And of course, the only hijabi. Mm -hmm. So, do the kids ask you questions about it? They, they do. Of course, here in America, we have this strict separation of church and state. Mm -hmm. So we're not really permitted to talk religion in school, mm -hmm. per se. We can't um, preach in yeah. the school. Mm -hmm. Students, of course, will ask some questions. So I, I do answer questions, and the faculty especially, mm -hmm. because 
as for Americans, the hijab is always the biggest thing. What you have in your heart, the people can't see, or they think, okay, uh, I was raised as a Catholic. Mm -hmm. So our basic thing of treating people how you want to be treated is the basic thing. What's most visible with Islam is the outward, mm -hmm. the prayer, the wudu, also the fasting. These are things that the Americans who are non-Muslim are confused. So I get, of course, a lot of questions mm -hmm. anywhere I go, and people are shocked time they see mm -hmm. white skin. Yeah. Especially if I speak to people on the telephone, uh -huh. like for college. So they speak to me, they see my name, Lisa Barnes, so they already form an image in their mind uh -huh. of who is Lisa Barnes. And time I walk in the room, of course, you see the shock on their face. Uh -huh. So it, it is a struggle, but alhamdulillah, we're Muslim, that's the important thing. So we're here to provide that support. And also I feel Muslims themselves can learn a lot by dealing with the converts, mm -hmm. perhaps can renew some of that excitement right. within them about being Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Well, Sister Lisa, thank you very much for your time. Inshallah, Allah, Allah, Allah increase you in your efforts to you fill too. that void that the Muslims have after thank coming you. to Islam. Thank you. And salam to everyone in Saudi Arabia. And inshallah, I'll come there again someday. Sure. Thank you.